Hi, I'm Mark Simon, the director of the Peculiar Adventures of Willoughby Star. Look, I love a good challenge, and series creator Ariane Smith gave me a really big one here. There was little in the show that I was familiar with, well, except for humor, and even that had a really different tone than the way I normally direct. Luckily, Ariane trusted me, and I dove right in. And then she and I spent a lot of time talking over her inspirations for the show. You know, movies like Grand Budapest Hotel and High Anxiety and the David Lynch series Twin Peaks. Now, those are kind of weird references for a kid's show, but somehow it works. Plus, this is a show about a teen girl. And last I looked, I've never been a teenage girl. and Even all my kids are boys. Well, luckily, I do talk to dogs. So the Stinky character was easy. The hardest, actually the hardest part about Stinky was how to deal with his talking. I wanted it so only Willow could hear him. So in any wide shots or shots with other characters, we only hear barking. Then when we get into close-ups or shots of Willow and Stinky together, then we hear him speak. So directing notes like that are really fun to come up with and it's really important for the universe of the show to feel real. See, even if you don't realize what we did while you watch it, it still works. Now, I don't usually use cutout style animation like we have in this, in this show, but I decided to keep the motion simple, just like we had in the trailer, that they did in the trailer before I came on. But I wanted to add in lots of varied camera angles so it'll look different than any others you've seen before. I mean, if you think about um, any other cutout style, animation. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen a show like um, Angela Anaconda. It's, it's basically every scene is just one flat background and you just cut in and out close-ups of the characters. I really wanted to have full coverage, more like a film, but with very simplistic animation on top. I mean, why make it too easy on the crew? <laughs> but, you know, once I got into Ariane's head, which is a fun but kind of slightly scary place to be, we had a lot of room to play. Now I pulled lots of reference videos for our team to support all the different types of shots that we wanted. And I created a really long document which details all the shots, music, animation, timing, sound effects, and more. It's become our visual bible. Plus it's a great reminder for me as I moved into each new sequence so I wouldn't just fall into the other ways that I use of directing. So everything would be really specific to this show. It does look and feel different. And I was very hands-on with our board artist, Aiden Casserly. I've worked with Aiden a lot. And we have a great time. So on some shots and scenes, I would give him really detailed notes. Others, I'd just give him an idea. And then we would Skype all through the process and I would act out some scenes. And, and then we would share the storyboard profiles. That's what we were doing the boards and the animatic in. We'd share those files back and forth. So while he was roughing out the second half, I was editing and making notes on the first half, and then we'd switch. I gotta tell you, it was an incredibly efficient way to work, and we wrapped the entire board and animatic early. Ariane loved me for that. And luckily, she's still talking to me. So I guess during this process, I've gotten more right than I've gotten wrong. I actually think everyone's really going to enjoy Willow's Peculiar Adventures. I know I do, and I can't wait to hear what you guys think.